these cars are operating on their own. Well, sort of. These engineers are watching them. We develop technology um, that goes into the vehicles to take the humans out of the vehicles. Making sure they drive on the right path. And if something gets in the way, the car alerts them and they can choose a new path. Autonomous Solutions sees a future where one person could run multiple vehicles at the same time. I see the ratio of robots to humans going up and then also just the, the complexity of the applications we'll be able to do. And it's not stopping here. The technology isn't just being used for cars. So what they're doing with those cars, they can now do with something like this tractor. A lot bigger, but they say it can make people a lot safer and people can work around the clock. In critical times of the year, like harvest or, or uh, planting, when time really is uh, the most valuable thing, they can be running through the night to get all that done. They say the tractor will change with the weather, avoid obstacles, and work along with other machines like it. And all of this will be controlled by one farmer. They are just there as a safety guard more than anything. Although the machines would take jobs from farmhands and machine operators, Tori says he's already seen safety benefits from similar projects. Like down in South Africa where we have an autonomous mine running, that the truck drivers are now moving into the command centers, they're managing multiple pieces of equipment, it's a better work environment, they're not beating themselves up. 